This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater. And despite a lack of activity, it's still a lot more exciting than what goes on in this movie. Invasion of the Animal People is a sci-fi horror film from 1962, directed by Virgil Vogel and Jerry Warren. It begins with a scene of a woman who hears a high-pitched noise that sends her into a frenzy, running for her life. This whole event doesn't seem to matter, though, because the actual story starts in Sweden, when a team of scientists come to the country to investigate a meteor crash. As a generic love story plays out between a scientist's niece and his associate, the team discovers that the meteorite is actually a spaceship, piloted by aliens that have, for no real reason, unleashed a tall, hairy creature that begins to attack the scientists and natives. Naturally, the next step is to destroy the monster before it can kidnap the girl, because, of course. Yeah, if the opening scene wasn't already enough to suggest that the movie had too much disconnection going on, the rest of the film is also far from anything one might consider entertainment. It sets up the story well enough, I suppose, but then it bogs itself down with a whole lot of nothing, almost literally. The first half of the movie is at least filled with indoor and somewhat interesting locations, but that doesn't make up for the lack of a story. All we get is basic filler, setting up the main love subplot rather than anything related to the much more exciting spaceship landing. Once they actually get out there, any scene that can be spent in these snowy flatlands does so, lingering there for several minutes before moving on to some other location that's also just as empty. The movie stays like this until maybe 10 or 15 minutes before the actual ending of the film, when the monster finally appears. I hate to recap the whole movie like this, but that's really the only thing that can be talked about. It's just devoid of any other substance, whether it be in the unrealistic or at times incoherent dialogue, or the actual characters and performances being so bland and generic that it actually pushes your attention away. Then again, the rest of the production doesn't exactly offer anything worth paying attention towards anyways. It would probably be a waste of time talking about this movie as if it had any artistic or creative drive going on, because there's none of that on display throughout 99% of the film. Every shot is little more than pointing the camera at the action going on, there is no timing or craft in the edits being made, and there's barely any music at all, especially in the film's second half out in the snow. On one hand, it adds realism, but on the other hand, it was probably only done to cut costs. Either that, or they just forgot to put music in there in the first place. If there is anything in the movie that I would admit is a smart decision, it would actually be the scenes with the monster, or at least the handful of wide shots which occur. In these, there is an actual sense of foreboding and dread as the creature silently stalks the snow plains, growing and growing in size as it approaches the camera, appearing vaguely human but obviously not. There are even a few shots where some miniaturized building is standing up, which gives a sense of scale and shows off just how tall the monster is supposed to be. These are genuinely the only points of the movie that are worth mentioning at any length. Everything else is just a waste of breath. Invasion of the Animal People Virgil Vogel Jerry Warren, 1962. Half a star. I don't recommend giving this movie any of your time. That's it for me. 
If you like this review, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I really don't want to think about this movie any more than I have to. I almost wish the whole movie were just those quiet monster scenes so that I could have an excuse just to take a nap.